Devil's Flower Mantis One of the largest types of praying mantis, the Devil's Flower Mantis is also one of the strangest, and that's saying a lot when you're talking about praying mantids. Females of the species can measure up to 5 inches long and have developed a range of natural coloring that allows them to mimic the Devil's Flower, a type of orchid. Mantids are predators, and their hunting style usually involves sitting motionless until their prey comes within reach, and then whipping their forearms out at lightning speed to snag flies, beetles, birds. The Devil's Flower Mantis uses color patterns that mimic a flower to actually lure its prey within reach. Brazilian Treehopper The image shown here is a model created by Alfred Keller, a German sculptor, in the 1950s. But don't let the fact that it's a model fool you. The Brazilian Treehopper is definitely a real insect, and it's barely even the strangest looking member of the Treehopper family. Similar to cicadas, Treehopper insects are sort of like the Adams family of the insect world. Many of them sport some sort of odd structure on their backs, and we're still not sure what the point of most of them are. In the case of the Brazilian treehopper, the ball-like appendages are hollow chitin, and maybe for the sole purpose of making it harder to eat. Puss Moth Caterpillar With their soft bodies and high protein content, caterpillars are usually incredibly vulnerable. To fend off predators, they often resort to scare tactics. Sometimes it's in the form of bright, flashy colors, sometimes it's in the form of mimicry, looking or acting like another, more dangerous insect. The puss moth caterpillar opts for mimicry, forming a bizarre-looking face that resembles a vertebrate face scary enough to send most curious predators the other way. The caterpillars are bright green and will often have a row of white spots on either side of their body. On the head is a pair of black eye spots, directly above a gaping mouth through which the true head of the caterpillar protrudes. The effect is startling, but it's even creepier in action. If the caterpillar is touched anywhere on its body, it will instantly turn its face directly towards the attacker. Touch it somewhere else and the head follows you, like a Mona Lisa from hell. And if that doesn't work, it can always spray out a mist of formic acid from the two horns on its back. Dasakira pudibunda caterpillar Also known as the pale tussock, the Dasakira pudibunda is a moth native to Denmark. Its bright yellow caterpillars are covered in patches of spiky hair that resemble porcupine quills, and along the center of their back is another row of hair tufts, one on each segment of its body, culminating in a large black or brown spine at the rear end. From a distance, the caterpillar resembles a sponge, but up close, where you can actually see the double row of mandibles, it's not quite so cuddly. Every now and then, pale tussock populations will explode, resulting in a carpet of these caterpillars covering the trees. In 1988, a wave of pale tussocks demolished 20 hectares of beech forest in Denmark. Ecstatosoma tyratum. Anybody who's ever seen Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom should instantly recognize this monstrosity, commonly referred to as the giant prickly stick insect. As the largest known stick insect, the Ecstatosoma tyratum can reach lengths of 8 inches, and is usually covered with large, thorny spikes, which double as both camouflage and defensive armor. Most of the time, this insect attempts to blend in with its surroundings, but if it feels threatened, it will rear up on its hind legs and spread out its front legs like a scorpion. Interestingly enough, it also releases a chemical that is meant to scare away predators. To humans, it smells like peanut butter. Pipevine Swallowtail Caterpillar The pipevine swallowtail is a beautiful fluorescent blue butterfly that's commonly found in North and Central America. Its larvae, on the other hand, is an armored, congealed blood-red caterpillar with tinted visor shades for eyes and a quadruple row of blunt horns running across its body. The caterpillars live in groups while they are young, but over time they will wander off on their own before entering the chrysalis stage. They also change color as they grow, shifting from red to black, while their horns take on a bright orange hue. The bright colors are a warning. Pipevine swallowtail caterpillars feed primarily on the pipevine, a poisonous plant, and retain the toxins from the leaves in their own bodies. Atlas Moth Most of the time it's the caterpillar of a moth species that looks the strangest, while the moth itself is drab and uninteresting. Apparently the Atlas Moth didn't get the memo. With a 10-inch wingspan, Atlas Moths are believed to be the largest moth species on the planet. They also have a very unique trait. The front tips of their wings almost perfectly resemble a snakehead poised to strike. Nicknamed the Cobra Moth for obvious reasons, Atlas moths are found in Southeast Asia, where they're farmed for their silk. Tailed Emperor Butterfly Caterpillar Take a trip to the east coast of Australia around March or April, and you might run into one of these strange creatures. The caterpillar of the Tailed Emperor Butterfly looks pretty normal, from the neck down. Its head, though, definitely secures it a spot on this list. 
from a broad, armor-plated forehead extend four bizarre horns that would be more at home on a dinosaur than anything from this millennium. The butterflies lay their eggs in groups, usually on Illawarra flame trees, and the alien caterpillars emerge sometime around late March. Spiny flower mantis Pseudocreobotra walbergi. Another incredible-looking mantis, the spiny flower mantis Pseudocreobotra walbergi, is, again, a flower mantis, pulling its bizarre ornamentation from the appearance of a flower. This mantis is very small, measuring only 1.5 inches, and is found in select locations in southern Africa. And like most mantids, the spiny flower mantis is a voracious cannibal, and the older they get, the more likely they will be to eat other mantids that come across their path. Another interesting fact is that the female's egg sac can be nearly three times larger than its own body. Scorpion fly. While this insect looks like the result of some bizarre genetic experiment that spliced a scorpion stinger onto a wasp, that stinger is actually something much more innocuous. The fly's genitals. Nevertheless, it makes for a bizarre looking creature. Scorpion flies, or Macoptera, can be found all over the world and have been around since the Mesozoic Age. In fact, they're believed to have been the forerunners of most of our modern moths and butterflies, collectively grouped in the Lepidoptera order. Coletta Silk Moth Caterpillar If Jackson Pollock and God had a design meeting, they would probably come up with something similar to the Eupacardidia Coletta larva, also known as the Coletta Silk Moth Caterpillar. With a massive color range and dangerous looking barbs, the Coletta Silk Moth Caterpillar is something most predators stay away from. The moth is found in the southern U.S., and the color pattern of the caterpillar changes based on age and environmental factors. It feeds mostly on the Mexican jumping bean, a plant found throughout Mexico, Texas, and Arizona. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.